the end of last season, we, we noticed there was a bit of steam coming out of the exhaust when we were running the engine uh, above about 2,000 RPM, 2,000 or maybe 2,200. Um, we've, we've done some checks and we've done some uh, replacement of parts. We changed the elbow, the exhaust elbow, uh, because we're told that that often causes a restriction in corrosion, causes a restriction in water flow, which can then lead to the, the steaming. Um, we had a compressing test done on the engine because we thought it might be the head gasket. Uh, compressing test was fine, but um, we had at that point, because we were down in Padstow, um, decided to use a sort of the head gasket equivalent of rad weld. So we'd, we'd put in a liquid, which if there is a leaking gasket, seals it. Uh, so we're not totally sure that the compression test was measuring what we needed it to measure. So we've, we've, um, we've got this uh, 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 alchemy kit, which is a way of testing to see if there's any combustion gas going into the, um, uh, the cooling liquid on the uh, uh, fresh water side. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that test this morning. Um, you put some uh, what they call the red liquid uh, into this little um, YouTube-ish. Uh, you put it into the um, uh, header tank for the coolant and then any gas that's coming out through the head gasket will go through this liquid and turn it yellow. So the test is, does it stay red or will it go yellow? So we're going to find out. So I've now put the boat in gear and we are kicking out some water from the back. This is us heating the engine up, ready for our test. I've started the engine. The instructions say that you have to start the engine, leave it running for a few minutes, it's a bit vague. Take the uh, header tank lid, make it get loose, make it loose. But I'm waiting for the, the thermostat to open so that there is actually some cooling water cooling the engine before I do the test, so it's going to take a few minutes. Well, that's the test complete. That's the colour of the fluid at the start and that's the colour of the fluid at the end. I would say we have got a combustion leak. So at least now we know what we've got to do to uh, correct our smoky, well smoky, I say smoky, I mean white steam from the engine. Off comes the top of the block, new gasket required. So the last time we, um, we showed you any footage, we were looking at the test that we did on the engine exhaust system to see if we've got a problem with our head gasket. So now our engine is in bits, as you can see. There's bits on here. All sorts of bits. We have taken it apart to have a look at changing our head gasket. Um, I'm going to go and show you the head now and you can see what we found. So as you know we um, did a gas test on the water cooling system and we we found that there was uh, exhaust gas coming through the uh, header tank which suggests that the head gasket had gone so we've had the head taken off and um, a head gasket hadn't gone, which is in some respects is good news because we can take it out of the equation, but it does still leave a bit of a question mark about why we're getting this white smoke or steam coming through our exhaust. When we took it off, uh, the head gasket goes here, um, these valves were really caked in, um, in soot and, and uh, carbonaceous material. So we've had the valves um, cleaned and reground. Uh, the the exhaust outlets were full of um, a really thick layer of, of carbon. So we've cleaned all those out, just particularly the middle one. And then um, these are the uh, uh, fuel injectors and we've had those serviced as well. So So when we took it to get them examined, uh, they found that the spray, that the um, the pattern from the uh, uh, diesel being injected into the engine was was wrong, and it was because the little needle there, the little needle valve there, was jamming. So they've been fully serviced, and and they they look amazing compared to how they did when they came out. 
and we're going to be putting those back on. Um, and then that should be it for the uh, the head. Oh, we had the, the head pressure tested as well because there's a chance it was cracked, but in fact we had it water pressure tested and there's no cracking. So we decided we decided there'd be no need for um, uh, skimming. That's quite good news really, isn't it? We haven't got a cracked head. I think it's good news. Yeah, that's definitely good news. Um, and I kind of think it's good news that we haven't got a failed head gasket because I was always suspicious about that problem, that diagnosis. Um, but it looks like it could have been the injectors uh, and the fact that particularly the middle injector wasn't working that well. So let, we'll put it back together and find out. And we've got a complete new set of um, original gaskets, haven't we, from Volvo yeah. and Penta. So when it all goes back together, it's having a bit of a major service this year. Um, hopefully this sort of white white steam or white smoke that we're getting after all this servicing is going to disappear. will become a thing of the past. Yeah, let's hope so. Um, fingers crossed. If, if we assume that it's steam coming out of the exhaust and not smoke, then that would suggest it's the heat exchanger. That kind of points at the heat exchanger. So we've taken the heat exchanger off and taken it apart. Um, this is, this is the, these are the heat exchanger tubes. So you've got fresh water going through there and then um, seawater going on the outside. And uh, so we've given this a thorough clean because these can get really caked in um, uh, calcium carbonate, I think it is. And, uh, um, and it can be a real nightmare to get it all out. So we've, we've used, um, in the summer, we used a concrete cleaner to, to remove as much of the calcium carbonate as we can. Uh, and then this time I've just used water, but um, just repeatedly cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. And it's astonishing how much detritus comes out from between these tubes. Uh, so that's, that's you know, these are now pretty clean, pretty spotless. This is a, a stainless steel exhaust elbow. We used to have a mild steel exhaust elbow, but it corroded really badly. Uh, so we've changed it to stainless. All the advice is that if you use a stainless um, elbow, make sure you get a really good seal. Uh, the gasket is a really good um, insulator so that you don't get a galvanic cell between the... Um, I assume is, is an aluminium case and the stainless steel uh, heat exchanger. What, we, what we're what told to look for with this steaming problem is if there's any corrosion in here. We had a good look down into there. We took the heat exchanger out and there was, there was no evidence of any corrosion. So that was a relief as well. And then the final uh, uh, component here is our good old thermostat. Um, that goes into, into here and uh, uh, check that. It comes on at about 80 degrees C, uh, so that's that's within um, within the right range for that thermostat. It's an 82. So that's the heat exchanger, looking pretty good, all looking pretty clean, and there's no evidence of any corrosion, and all of the detritus that was in here has been removed, or I hope has been removed. I've cleaned it absolutely thoroughly about 30, 40 times in fresh water to get everything out that I can um, between those heat, uh, the, between those tubes. So, so hopefully that takes the heat exchanger out of the equation. Again, fingers crossed. How did you test the um, thermostat? Uh, I, I, I suspended it over a, um, a, a kettle full of water and then heated the water up and then kept taking the temperature of the water uh, and then waited for the uh, thermostat to open. And, uh, and it opened at about, heating up, it was quite hard to tell, but it was between 80 and 90. Cooling down, it was fully um, closed at about 77 degrees. So, yeah, it uh, looked pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, so I think it's a wax thermostat. I'm tempted to change it for a new one just because we've got it all out, but um, we'll see. And uh, we gave the um, the whole house in a good clean out, didn't we? Lots of fresh water. Yeah. It was. It Give wasn't it bad. Wash. It wasn't bad. It was and just. The caps. There's a bit of calcium carbonate in there, but it was pretty clean, really. Yeah, we cleaned the rubber caps as well, and yeah. it's all sort of ready to go back together now, isn't it? Yeah. So we just sort of fingers crossed that everything we've done is going to work. And, the, 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 the no problem, more smoking or steam. The problem is that if you look at the the diagnosis for this type of problem, it, it there are a whole range of things it could be. So so what we've done is we've tried to tick them all off. 
So it could be the heat exchanger, we've taken that out. It could be the thermostat, we've taken that out. It could be the exhaust elbow, we've taken that out. It could be the injectors, we've had those serviced. It could be the head gasket, we're changing that. So we're basically going through the whole list of things that it could be so that we're you know, more confident that we're going to get rid of it. Oh, fingers crossed. Always. Well, putting these rubber end caps back on is a bit fiddly. We've um, managed to attach it here first and then sort of squeeze it by rotating it round and forcing it on. Um, and then we realised we'd forgotten the Jubilee clip, so we've had to completely undo the Jubilee clip to try and get it round now. Alan's just putting it back together to tighten it up and we can tighten up the Jubilee clips on these three areas now. And that one will be nicely back in place. One bit of assembly done and then we have to do this end. So we have put our engine back together. You can see the water's coming out of our outlet. We've had her in gear for a little while now. She's pumping out quite a lot of kick from underneath. You can see that on the water and she's nicely warm and we would like to report that this is brilliant. There is no steam or smoke. We are finally fixed. Yay!